Hi, Ace is Home Expert, and today we're going to talk to you about spray painting metal. Uh, this is an easy project to do, and with the right products, you can get some pretty nice results if you take your time and do it the right way. Just like any paint job, it's all about preparation. We've got a log holder here that was uh, picked up at a resale shop, and you can see it's sort of a shiny brass. Maybe that's not your look. I have a can of Ace Premium paint and primer in one spray paint. It's a nice versatile coating that is the perfect paint coating to use on an application like this. Now what you want to do is start with washing it down, getting in all the dirt and debris off of there. And if there is any rust on it at all, maybe take a little sandpaper and sand that off so it's prepped. Once it's dry, using the paint and primer in one spray paint, you're going to do a light coat initially to get a a nice base coat of the black, that's what we're going to be using here, a black uh, finish over the top. And it's probably going to take two, maybe three coats of paint to get the desired look we're going for. Just using a, a rag with a very mild solution of dish soap and water just to get all that dust off where I just created the sanding uh, that I created from using the sanding sponge. And you want to clean that all off because we want to have a nice clean surface for the paint to adhere to. And you want to make sure that this dries. So here we're doing this outside. Always a good idea to do any kind of spray painting outside in a well ventilated area. You never want to avoid using spray paint on the inside of the home when possible. And we have a nice sunny day today so this should dry pretty quickly. You can see that the finish on this is pretty um, not that durable so I'm just going to go ahead and take the sandpaper and just rough it up a little bit. This is going to help with the uh, paint to stick a little bit. You don't have to go crazy but just a quick little uh, almost scratching of the surface a little bit on all the sides uh, using the sanding sponge will just help you a little bit with the paint to bond really well so it's a, a more durable finish when you're done. Make sure you shake the can up really well couple minutes or so you'll hear that little metal ball that's inside of there kind of going back and forth and we want to make sure that all the paint is mixed up really well this is very important to do and even throughout the painting project every now and then give it a little shake to keep the color and the finish consistent as you're applying it okay we're gonna start with the side you don't see so that you can actually practice a little bit and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, uh, short sweeping motions where I push the trigger and then as I come across I'm going to release it and you don't want to go too heavy on metal when you're painting metal it can run and so you really want to put light coats on there to get a nice finish so here we go Whenever you're spray painting, you want to move around the material that you're uh, painting so you can make sure you're getting even coverage throughout the whole thing. So you want to change that angle so you cover everything. And again, light coats. You see, I'm not spending a lot of time holding it on there because if you do that, that's where you get uh, paint runs and we don't want paint runs. I love using spray paint. It is the best way to bring stuff back to life. Now you can do any kind of accessories that go along with this. You can load it up with wood and use it next to your fireplace and create a brand new look, saving money and doing projects yourself. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit your local Ace Hardware store because Ace is the helpful place.